The wood carving tools are a great tool for carving out wood when you don't want it to go all the way through or cut a piece in half. They're in this box and there's all different kinds of shapes. Each one has a different blade on the end that will do different things. Some of them cut, some of them will gouge, some of them will gouge very thin lines like this. So you can see there's all different kinds. So first you want to take your piece of wood and attach it to the table so the clamp is going to be a good solution for that. Usually two clamps, one on either side of the piece of wood is the best. So we'll put two clamps here. Then you want to draw out the area that you would like to carve. If you want, you can just use a ruler and draw it out, or if it's not straight, you would draw it out by hand or use some kind of template. But I'll go ahead and make a section here. Say I decide I'd like to have this area carved out. And I want to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the straight tool first. This one has a straight blade on it. And you can see on the blade here, there's one side that's flat and one side that has a bevel. It's at an angle. So I'm going to take the flat side and put it along the edge of the side of the wood that I want to keep. I'm getting rid of this side so the bevel edge is going to be on that side. So the flat side goes here. I hold it in place and I use my hammer. give it some taps and it's going to create a line. And I can do that all along the edge here. And I'm going to do it along this side too. Let's get right in there. Once I have this whole area cut, then I can use the other tools to help me with the material. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one section here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I made a cut along here. Then I'm going to use a different tool. And I can use a curved one like this. I can still use this flat one if I want to. Here, here's another curved tool. And here's a flat one with a little bigger of bigger bevel on it. Okay? So I want to carve this out, and what I can do is use these tools at an angle. So I can go right in there like this, and now instead of going straight up and down, I can turn it a little bit at an angle. And you can see the wood is starting to come up. You can go from the other end, meet it halfway in the middle. You can also use the curved ones to help remove material. And look how low I'm holding the tool. You do need to hold it pretty low because you're carving out the top layer of the wood. You're not going all the way down. And because I've already cut these lines along this edge, the wood peels up pretty easily. Now if I go along here and try to bring this tool to here, it's going to splinter. So if I wanted to keep going, I would need to come back in here with this tool and give myself a few more lines here to work with. And then I could come back. I think I'll start with this straight one a little bit here. So I'll bring it up, and then I'll use the curved one to remove it. Okay? You can also use the very, very small ones and get a different look. You can do freehand. So if I just do it freehand like this, you can see how you can work with your tool and carve freehand. Now if you're going to carve freehand, just make sure your other hand is out of the way and you're doing it with a controlled manner. You don't want to be crazy with it because these are sharp. 
You can see if you wiggle it back and forth a little bit, it does help to cut into the wood. And then once you're finished, if you want to go in here and clean it up with some sandpaper, you can always do that. Or if you want it to be really flat in there, you can take one of the other tools and work to flatten it out like this. Carve that bottom out. But that's how you use these tools. When you're finished with these tools, you always want to make sure that they go back into the box where they belong. Close the lid and make sure they get put away. 